Welcome to the Eye of the Storm, sponsored by Florida International University's International Hurricane Research Center and the Florida Division of Emergency Management. In this video, we're going to learn about roofing resilience and the importance of proper installation from Advanced Roofing, who even put a new roof on the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service building located at FIU in Miami. And Global Protection Products will show us the different types of shutters for protecting your home and business from hurricane force winds and how those products get tested. Hi, I'm Rob Cornerens, owner, founder, and CEO of Advanced Roofing. Any advice going into the hurricane season, whether residential or commercial, is really know what your roof system is rated to and make sure there's nothing that's loose. Some homes have these turbines. I recommend taking those off and putting caps on there. On commercial buildings, making sure there's nothing going to block the drains. So this is a gutter. Houses have them. This is a more of a commercial thing. Very important before a hurricane, you get up and make sure there's no trash in here. Because if the downspout gets backed up, it's going to come up and come into the house. So you got to make sure all your drains, gutters are clean. 80% of roof leaks come from some sort of projection. A lot of people have these little goosenecks for their electrical and how that ties in to the roof is so important for a quality roof. If you get a licensed quality roofer, he'll make sure that is watertight. Always get a licensed contractor that pulls a permit and make sure they get their inspections and get a final inspection before you pay them the last draw. If you're looking for a contractor post hurricane, the Florida Roofing Sheet Metal Association has a list of you know, contractors. Don't go up there and try to fix it yourself. I've heard of several people that are just go up there and they fall off the roof. Call your insurance company and then call some uh, licensed contractors with a reputation in town, not somebody from out of town. So Rob, there's lots of options when it comes to roofing materials on a roof, uh, right? What do you have here? Yeah, so there's different types. I'll start with the residential. So the least expensive is the old shingle roof that's just basic like this. It does come in architectural shingles to give it more dimension. Here's a flat tile, another common system. Better, you have underlayments. You can change your underlayment for a lot stronger. You'll see on a proposal uh, upgrade to, for the underlayment. I always recommend that. The most wind resistant roof system is the metal roof. And that's because we can design it with these fasteners. We can put more fasteners in. We can do a continuous clip, but then you're only as good as your plywood is and your structure. Because if you get a door that goes out or a window, that pressure is gonna lift from underneath. And this is a barrel tile. I'd recommend at least the foam. And if you wanna go a little bit more, add some nails. One of the biggest things in building a roof is how the perimeter is secured. And even on a shingle roof, you have a metal drip edge. On a flat roof, you have this metal drip edge. So what we do here, what he's making is a drip edge. So this is actually water comes over and gets kicked out and then we this goes stripped into the roof and that's the metal face. This is a crucial part of any roof. With a hurricane uh, approaching and the, using the materials in these methods, it holds up pretty well. Yeah, this is great for any hurricane preparation and when you're designing a roof, it really doesn't cost that much more to do it right and add a little bit more to your roof system. It all comes down to workmanship. You know, the quality guys have been in business a long time and they're going to be there for a long time. We've been in business 37 years. But here we have like an example, if you have a flat roof on your house or a business, you'll see we attach these screws and plates that goes all the way through into the deck. And what we do, as I talked about earlier about the wind pressures, we have the same thing with a metal edge as we do with the main roof system. So if you notice the fastening pattern on that piece of insulation, is about half of what this is. That's in the field, this is in the perimeter. 10 foot around the whole perimeter, we put more fasteners. From experience, we know that's where the pressure is gonna be the most. And if this goes, the roof goes. So now we really tack the perimeter, and then in the corner, we'll actually have twice as many as those in that corner. This is NOAA, the National Weather Service at the FIU campus in Miami, Florida. So to me, it's very special because we were chosen to put a roof on this building. And this is the building where people are running their command center during hurricanes. 
it being such an importance of a building for the National Weather Service, the roof on this building has to withstand when they run their hurricane operation here. So it was a full teardown down to the concrete structural deck. Having been through hurricanes before and being a native to South Florida, the most rewarding part of this project is knowing that next time we have a hurricane, when the National Weather Service is occupying this building and broadcasting out updates, I'll have known that I was the project manager that put the roof on this building. And that's really special to me at heart. Any uh, young people that are, I don't care how old you are, but if you're in high school and you're thinking about anything, it's a great career. Roofing today is different from what I did. It's a lot cleaner, easier, and it's it's great career. We had developed a state certified apprenticeship program that is a three-year program. You actually get 25 credits from Broward College towards your associate degree. You get $16 an hour after the first year, 18, and then 20. And then our project managers and construction managers are making 80, 100,000, some of them 120,000. So it's a career that you can really advance and there's a lot of technology. We say now we're a technology company that really is in the roofing business. We have uh, tablets, we have drones, there's so much technology. So if you're a technology person and don't want to do the hard labor, then there's positions for you as well. Wow, how cool was that? All those different layers that come together to make a solid, safe roof. We really want to thank Advanced Roofing for teaching us today when it comes to a roof. There's lots of components involved. And as a homeowner, a business owner, you really want to do your homework and research to understand how it needs to come together correctly. And the roof is only as strong as the weakest link of the building envelope, which can be the windows and doors. They need to be protected from flying debris. Global Protection Products will show us how. Hi, my name is Tim Robinson with Global Protection Products, also the president of the IHPA, the International Hurricane Protection Association. We are a hurricane shutter manufacturer here located in Fort Lauderdale. We manufacture a variety of different products for the hurricane protection industry as well as we offer installation services of those products. And absolutely you want to make sure that you're using a licensed contractor or a licensed installer, someone who's familiar with the product, knows how it's to be installed, and, and most importantly that it's being installed to the standards required so that it, when you need it, it's going to work. What's the purpose of a shutter? Um, most people would tell you that it's to keep the glass from breaking and I'm going to tell you that it's to keep the house from becoming pressurized when and if the glass does break. Which means that you don't allow that sudden wind into the house which causes it to implode. Your first uh, basic entry level product would be uh, your galvanized steel uh, corrugated storm panel and then from there you kind of start upgrading from from a metal product to a fabric type shutter that's available for certain areas and then you from there you can go into an accordion shutter and from that you kind of step up into the Cadillac version of shutters which are the Bahama shutters or the hinge colonial shutters or the uh, roll-up shutters. I come from the mindset that something is better than nothing so if you ask me about plywood it does provide a function if it's installed properly and I would say this about any product uh, that, that you use. When it's installed properly to the code, um, it'll function and serve its purpose. You should you know, understand the requirements of installing that product properly. So if you're going to do it yourself, otherwise it runs the potential of becoming flying debris which is the whole purpose of the shutter system in the first place is to stop that flying debris. Tape, tape, tape is the biggest, biggest uh, <laughs> myth out there. Uh, as we talk about this every season, we demonstrate this uh, every year, um, yet we still pe see people doing it, talking about it. Tape offers zero protection for flying debris um, in a storm, that it's nothing more than a waste of time. The purpose of the air cannon is just one part of the the testing criteria. Uh, basically, it's a, it is a truly that it's a cannon where they fire a two by four uh, missile out of it at what 50 feet per second, which is equivalent of about 35 miles per hour. And what they do is they impact the product 
that's to show that the, the product can withstand the flying debris or the potential flying debris that would be out there during a storm. Hey, welcome to the Museum of Discovery and Science. My name's Michael. I'm Lan. Hi, Lan. And today, we're going to demo our air cannon. Now, the air cannon is something we actually built here at the museum. Kids, this is not something you should build at home. If you attempt to, please make sure your parents are with you. So this is something very simple. It's PVC pipe, wood, a couple of steel brackets, and a couple of projectiles that are inside of this. So literally, we built a frame out of two by four. We drilled some holes right through it. We put a large PVC pipe all the way through. We have a plunger right here, which is about a small, uh, smaller piece of PVC that is actually fed all the way through to the front here. On the front, we have a projectile, which is just a end cap for a PVC pipe. It's sitting inside of here right now. What's gonna happen is we're going to pull the plunger out. And as we do that, on the front, there's a piece of aluminum foil with duct tape around it. We've created a nice tight seal. As we pull this, we are creating a vacuum inside. Once the plunger pops out, all of the air from around us is going to rush inside of this tube. It is going to grab that projectile and it is going to launch it right in to our target, which is Me? a watermelon. No, not you, not you. Please do not ever stand in okay. front of the cannon. I won't. But it is that watermelon. So I think we're ready to fire. I'm ready, I'm ready. Awesome, let's do this. Give me a count now, All right, Michael. here we go in three, Two, one. We can rip that open, there you go. There might be a second one in there, actually. Oh, <laughs> there is a second one. And you can also see the inside of the watermelon got absolutely destroyed too with all that prep. Is that delicious? All right. All right, we'll see everybody next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for another Eye of the Storm here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. Today we're in our science park and we showed you how to make an air cannon and we tested that out ourselves. We want to make sure that people understand the importance of hurricane shutters, hurricane windows as you're preparing your home to protect your family. The Florida International University's International Hurricane Research Center is a critical partner of the museum and we work closely with the Florida Division of Emergency Management to make sure that you're prepared. Follow us on social media and together we'll prepare you for Eye of the Storm.